When? I'm going to share how to manage nasty weeds. Well, they're not nasty. <clears throat> they're actually very helpful. Here we've got a devil's fig. If you touch it, it's going to hurt you. It's covered in very vicious spikes. But we're not going to touch it and we're going to manage it really, really well with the machete. And we're going to do that so we can give light and life to these higher succession species that are being nursed by this. So this devil's fig is doing very, very valuable work. <clears throat> There's a little bunyip pine there, cheese tree, and several other species that will come from the growth pulse that this provides when we prune it and all of the light that comes down. So I'll show you how to deal with this without hurting yourself and getting the best results. So we start at the top and we just bring the plant down like that and it's all falling into place. Again, start at the top. We're not even touching it. And we're getting through the work very quickly. And then we just use the end of our machete to pick up the pieces and put them where they've got to go. Just use the back of the Latin machete like a hook. And then a bit of chopping on the ground like that. And again, we'll take this down, put it there, and chop it up. And we're not getting any problems from this, we're not getting hurt or anything like that. It's doing its job. And we're treating it like any other plant. It doesn't matter if it has spikes on it. And already, this plant is largely pruned. We've got a couple more to go and it's right. And then this plant will give to these other ones and this will move out on its own. This will go, this is actually three years old. This has been here for three years working really hard and this has had this happen to it three times. So that's how we handle these plants. So you never be scared of spikes. Again, start at the top and bring it down in pieces. Like that. And then again, as it comes down, put it in place and cut it up. And it's exactly where you want it to be. And we haven't even touched it. And look at all of that biomass. So there's nothing wrong with any of these weeds. This came on its own and we let it because it was telling us what needs to happen. And there we have it. We're going to have light come down and give life to this cheese tree and bunya pine and several other species that are here and this banana will flourish and take its place.